I see a lot from people who have been in 12 step programs where they can't get phrases out of their head. Uh, and the phrases sometimes are helpful and sometimes they're just random and sometimes they're kind of hallmarky, you know, and, and it didn't at the moment really feel uh, like they were being heard and understood, but they felt like they were sort of being thrown the phrase that would fit that situation. Uh, oh my God. It's yeah. so funny that you say that because oh, no. the whole inspiration, the moment that I thought of the idea for this book, I want to write a book about the language of cults. I was standing in a graveyard. That's another story. I'm a spooky <laughs> person with my best friend who had just started going to AA uh -huh. and she was using all the AA buzzwords um, and they have such an exhaustive roster of like really catchy catchphrases. Mm -hmm. um, and she was like, I, yeah, like she was using phrases like halting you know like hungry angry lonely and tired like I've been halting all day I caught mm -hmm. a resentment at work um I'm trying not to future trip she was just like using all of these phrases and you're right and some of them were really useful and some of them were like seemed just plain culty and I I found it fascinating because this is like my best friend like my soul <sighs> made like three months ago before she started going to AA. I mean, I mean, AA is a wonderful thing and it's like changed her life and she's sober and all that stuff. But it's like three months earlier, I could, you know, understand what she was saying just if she grunted or snorted. And now she was speaking this completely different language. And I was like, wow, there, there must be something going on here. Like, what is it about language that can change people's lives in this mm -hmm. way, um, in this really culty way for better and for worse? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's so funny that you say that because the whole book idea came to me because of the language of a 12-step program. <laughs>